In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up your cat backgrounds so that they're clean and ready to be linked into Revit. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, if you're linking CAD files into Revit, you may be dealing with issues like large extents or flat backgrounds that are not so flat. Now, let me show you how to solve these issues. Now, let's go ahead and link a CAD background. You want to head over to Insert and select Link CAD, not Import CAD. So, Link CAD and you want to go ahead and uh, open it. I'm on level one. And as you can see, you get a warning that basically says that the extent of that file is too large for Revit to handle in a stable manner, but you can still hit okay. Now, if you double scroll or uh, do zoom extents, you see how the extent is indeed very large. And what you can do here is select everything and filter out to see what's available for you to select. And I'd like to go ahead and uh, look at my views to see what's going on in elevation. Now, the problem is that you can't really select or zoom in uh, easily. So what I recommend is that you use a, a tool called Zoom to Selection. I'll put a link in the description. And that allows you to directly zoom in into whatever it is that you selected. Now at this point, we can uh, head over to an elevation and see that indeed there's some um, information here. There are some uh, lines that are off the main plane and you want to make sure that that doesn't happen or it will affect your view uh, visibility when you go from one level to another. It's intended to be a flat background. Uh, it wants to be flat, so let's fix that in CAD. Now, the first thing you want to do when you receive a new background is to make sure that all the layers are visible. And at this point, we see that the extent is caused by this um, line that indeed is not needed. So we can go ahead and delete it. And when I do zoom extents again, that's, ex that's exactly the site that we need. Now, at this point, you can head over to any of the elevations, for example, south. and. Um, as you can see, there are some uh, lines that are off the main plane, and uh, we can assume that these lines are useful, but uh, if you don't need them, obviously you can just delete them, and that will be much simpler. If you do want to keep them, you can uh, go ahead and uh, select them, and uh, hit move, and see if you can snap on that main plane. That's assuming all those lines are on the same plane. And um, move them, using the snap perpendicular so you know that are being projected exactly on that plane and at this point you, you can see that everything is flat now and uh, we can uh, head back to our top view and now what I recommend is that you purge your model so let's go ahead and uh, hit purge and you may have to do that multiple times now at this point we should be done and we can go ahead and uh, save as you have our cut links and uh, I would save as with a different name and at this point and this part is optional if um, all this didn't work uh, I would always recommend that you select all the layers that you want to see visible in your Revit file and uh, you select everything Control C to copy to the clipboard and uh, then you can uh, create a new file and once you're in the new file, you can uh, go ahead and uh, click on Paste to Original Coordinates. And all that geometry will be placed exactly in the right spot. So if you zoom extends, you'll see that you have that new CAD file. Now, this is a new CAD file, so it shouldn't have any issues. And you should have exactly all the geometries and the extent that you require. So now that we're back in Revit, we're going to uh, insert this uh, cat file again. Now, I removed the previous version, so this will be a new um, insert. So we can uh, go ahead and insert link cad, and this, this time we'll uh, link the new background, and we'll hit open. And as you can see, we got all our geometry where it's supposed to be, and the extent is what we expected, and we didn't get the warning. 
Now let's go ahead and check one of the elevations. And as you can see, here's the cat file. We don't have any geometry that's uh, floating off in space. Now if you compare the background at level 1, which is black, with level 2, you see that the this background at level 2 is showing as grayscale or half tone, which means that it's actually placed at level 1, so it's placed correctly. Now let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and if you found this video useful, consider checking out these other BIM Productivity videos. Till next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.